Okay, hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson brought to you by Everyday Seminar. Um, today's topic is a continuation from our last lesson. So today we're going to do a, a more practical side of linear equations. Okay, uh, more specific, deriving linear equations in a slope-intercept form. Y equals mx plus b. Don't forget that. Okay, uh, key terms for, for this lesson. Okay, a lot of it is uh, pretty much the same as the lesson, uh, the first lesson we had in linear equations. Uh, we'll be covering terms such as slopes and the gradient. Uh, again, the y-intercept, straight lines, y-axis, coordinates, and uh, substitute, to substitute something, a value, as we'll see later on. Okay, uh, our first example, if we are given the slope and the y-intercept, what is the linear equation? Okay, to find the equation of the line in the form y equals mx plus b, you simply have to substitute the values of m and b into the general formula y equals mx plus b. Okay, again, from last week, please remember that m is equal to the slope or the gradient and b is equal to the y-intercept. So here's an example. Write the linear equation given the following information. Okay, we are told that the slope of the gradient is one half, and the other piece of information we're given, the y-intercept is negative three, or minus three. Okay, so what do we do? We substitute, okay? We move that value for the slope where m is, and we take this value, y-intercept, which is negative 3, and plug it in, insert it into where b is, okay, b. So therefore, the general equation, y equals mx plus b, eventually becomes, as you substitute the values, it becomes y equals to a half x minus 3, okay, very straightforward. Um, again, from our, our lesson, our first lesson on linear equations, what would this mean? This would mean that it would be a positive slope, okay? One half, so the graph will be going upwards, and it will cross the y-axis at negative three. So negative three, okay, zero, negative three. Moving on. Our next example is if we are given a graph can we find the equation of this graph, okay? To find the equation of a line in a graph, we need to find the first, the slope, and also the y-intercept, okay? Now, we can see the y-intercept when we look at a graph, usually, from where the line crosses the y-axis. So just by looking at this blue line, this, is, um, this blue line here, we can tell that the y-intercept is zero, negative three, okay? As for the slope, we can take any two points on the line and find the vertical distance and horizontal distance, okay? So we know the value for b. We know the y-intercept. Um, what we have to do now is find the slope of the graph. How do you find the slope? All you have to do is take any two points, here, 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 or there, here, or here, any two points, and you can use that to find the slope, okay? So again, we know that the value for b is equal to negative three. Okay, that's where it crosses. As for the slope, we can use the formula, again, from our first lesson, rise over run, change in y over change in x, or going up and over. So let's look at the example here. We'll take this point and this point. Notice that that value is the y, y-axis, change in y over the change in x. So here, from here to here, it goes up by one, and then one, two, two to the right. And that's why it's one over two, okay? We can do the same thing from this point and uh, to this point, goes up by one, and then across by two, okay? One half. Or we can use this point, and this point goes up by one, two, one, two, three, four. So that's two over four, which also equals a half, okay? 
Um, again, this is actually the line for the linear equation y equals a half x minus 3. Okay, um, what if we are given the slope and a point or a coordinate? Okay, when given the slope and a point on the line, oh, we only have to find the y-intercept, that is b. With the one coordinate given or the one point, we can substitute the values for x and y to find the y-intercept. Uh, let's move let's, this example. Write the linear equation given the following information. Okay, so the slope is a half, and we are given one point on the line. Okay, and that point is 4, negative 1. Okay, so the x-axis is 4, um, the y-axis negative 1. Okay, first substitute the slope into y equals mx plus b. Okay, we know the slope, put it into the general equation. Okay, the next part, then substitute 4 and negative 1. That point on the graph into the equation. Now that we have a half x, so we know the slope, and we're looking for b. So, as we mentioned earlier, x is 4, and uh, negative 1 is on the y-axis. So therefore, that y, negative 1, equals a half times 4 plus b. Okay, after substituting, solve for b. Okay, half times 4 is 2. You can move that 2 to that side, negative 1, take away 2, negative 3. So b is equal to negative 3. So now we have our value for b, and we also know our slope, the two things, most important things. So again, the solution is y equals to a half x minus 3. Okay, and what's our last one? Given two points, or two coordinates, okay? When given two points on a line, again, we need to find the slope and the y-intercept. Two key um, terms, the slope and the y-intercept. The first thing to do is to use these two points to find the slope. Remember our formulas for finding the slope, okay? First thing we do when we're given two points, first thing to find is the slope, and then once you know the slope, you can find the y-intercept. Okay, again, um, how do you find the slope? Up and over, rise over run, delta y over delta x, which simply means the change in y, okay? The vertical distance over the change in x, the horizontal distance. Now the formula for this, when given two points, is m, remember m is a slope, equals y2 take away y1, over x2 take away x1. Very important, any coordinate can be x1, y1, or x2, y2. Okay, uh, you'll see in a moment, let's just uh, go through this example first. Write the linear equation given the following two points on the line. So we know that on the line, we have two points. The line goes through these two points, 2, negative 2, and 4, negative 1. Okay, so we can take one of these and put it here, x1, y1, or we can put it x2, y2, and then put this one here or here. Okay, substituting the points into the formula, we get, okay, so we see what we've done here. We've taken the, uh, I see in this example, we've taken this as y2, x2, and this is y1, x1, okay. So you put that value over here, substitute these values into that formula, and you'll get negative 1 minus negative 2 over 4 minus 2, okay? And that equals to a half. So we found our slope first, okay? Um, here's the example. If you can try it with the other point, you can swap this around, okay? Or the, actually these two values around. Put that here, that over there, that here, that there you get the same answer, one half, okay? Now that you've found your value for m, a half, you can substitute any of these points, any of these coordinates, into the general formula, and you can find your value for b, okay? So exactly as we did in the slide before, right here. So we had a point, and we put in the value of x and the value of y, and we solved for b, okay? So that's the second part when you're given two points, okay? And we have some examples here for you to try at home, okay? Our question, what is the linear equation for the line with these two points? 
2, 2, and negative 4, 4. And also, it'd be nice if you could draw the graph. Um, if you have any questions and, uh, or comments, please be sure to write it on our website. And uh, thank you for joining us today, brought to you by Everyday Seminar.